If you want to learn how to be successful, increase your work ethic, make your dreams come true, and more, I have studied some of the richest and most successful people in the world, and I have six tips on how you can also do it too. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela, and today we're gonna to be talking all about six habits of highly successful people. Successful people all have a lot in common, and it's not just their large bank accounts, but they all worked hard, they took huge risks, they're disciplined, they had big dreams, and they didn't let people get in their way. Sometimes when you look at someone and think, if they did it, why can't I? And you have to look at the bigger picture and ask yourself, what did they do to get to where they are today? What were the habits? and things that they implemented to get them to the place that they are in. Maybe they woke up extra early. Maybe they stopped associating with certain people. Maybe they just became different because they knew that they wanted different. So today I'm going to be breaking down six tips that I've learned and that I've heard from tons of successful people and entrepreneurs online as I've gotten to watch hundreds of hours of podcasts, interviews, YouTube videos. I've read tons of articles and more. So let's dive in. Before we get into tip number one, I want to give you guys a quick preface and structure on how I'm going to lay out today's video because it's going to be a little bit different than my other ones. So I'm going to give you guys six tips on successful people and what I've learned from reading articles online, reading business books, and watching tons of interviews. But I'm also going to be giving you guys real quotes on what people have said that are in a bunch of different industries. So it's not just going to be narrowed down to one or two people. It's going to be a series of a bunch. And then in the end, I'm going to give you guys a little step-by-step -step plan on how you can start implementing these tips into your life as well. So tip number one is you have to take big risks and be different. Success doesn't come from staying in your comfort zone or doing what everybody else is doing. You have to be willing to step out of that and do what others aren't. And as Mr. Beast says, you are crazy until you're successful, then you're a genius, which is so true. But of course, you have to take calculated risks that make sense for you. You're not just doing it because, oh, I don't want to work this job anymore. Let me quit and start a business. You obviously have to have some sort of background info or some sort of background knowledge. Barbara Corcoran says, with business, you don't have to get things right. You just have to get the thing going. So many people focus on doing the right thing or worrying what the next step will be or trying to make it right when in reality, you just have to take that next step. Robert Herjvac says, I think to achieve great wealth or great success, you've got to be willing to risk more than the average person. You can't become an entrepreneur from a position of safety. You don't start a business to be safe. It's risky by nature. Tara Bosch, the founder of Smart Suites, also says, the most important thing I've learned is to keep progressing. You don't have to have it all figured out. You do have to lean in to the uncomfortable feeling of the unknown and commit to taking steps forward, embracing the fear and uncertainty that comes with that. I found a lot of peace with stepping into the unknown when I adopted that belief. I think it's so important to challenge ourselves to think big and then think even bigger. I truly believe our mind is the only limit to what we can achieve. This is something that really stands out to me because a lot of us get really afraid of stepping into that unknown because we're not sure of what is going to be there but in reality that is when we can learn the most and steve harvey also says you won't be successful if you don't put your all into one thing in order to be really successful you have to be focused on one thing do not take time off of plan a to focus on plan b because then it takes time away from plan a never have a plan b even if the plan a fails make another plan a always have a and do what you're doing until it is a money-making venture so everybody obviously has different things that they are passionate about whether you are interested in taking your passion and your side hustle and turning it into your full income whatever it is and whatever it is that you have in the back of your mind it is that you want to work you have to focus on that and this is something like i said that really stood out to me because a lot of people never fully go into their plans or their ideas because they know in the back of their mind that they need to have a backup in case that doesn't work when in reality what if you just went all into that first plan what if you just went all into that first thing it is that you want to happen so bad that you dream of every night that you think of every day what if you just went all in and made it work you will never know what will happen if you don't Tip number two is you have to always learn constantly. Mark Cuban says, when you're just getting started, it's good to make mistakes. Put in the time and the commitment to learn what you need to learn to be great at something or be good at what you want to be good at. So every industry and market is different. Of course, they're all changing rapidly. So you have to be willing to constantly want to learn what is going on, take new information in and have this growth mindset. Be ready to learn and take on new skills. Try to see different perspectives or whatever it is that you are going 
going through whether it's a different kind of situation and be adaptable and i always say this in my videos which is that you have to constantly be learning to stay ahead even when you're done with school even if you're still in school you don't have to just be learning what it is that you're doing in the classroom you can also go home and learn about things that you are passionate about yourself that is not just what a teacher is teaching you i love to always watch educational or informative content whether it's on youtube reading articles listening to what other financial gurus are saying online obviously take everything with a grain of salt i'm always just taking in information and i'm applying what works into my life and what i think will benefit me the most i also love to listen to interviews and other entrepreneurs talking online in different forms of content whether it is their books or like i said podcasts and i found these articles and i've read them and i've been able to learn from all these people that came before me challenges they had to overcome things that they've learned how they've gotten to where they are today kobe bryant says dedication makes dreams come true when you're dedicated to your craft and you are only thinking about that and you are only passionate about that you are going to just see so much of your full potential come into fruition you're always going to have the better edge and you're always going to be a little bit more up there than those around you if you're constantly taking new information in many years ago when i had all these big dreams and goals and i wanted all of these things to happen i didn't really have the proper knowledge or the proper information i hadn't even been through certain experiences like how i have today that have brought me to now where i am today if i wouldn't have been through those certain things if i wouldn't have learned certain things that i did then i like i said i would not be where i am today but you have to just remember that you have to be dedicated you have to stay focused on what it is that you want don't let the outside noise come in and truly just try to have that tunnel vision Tip number three, which is a tip that I think a lot of us should start implementing as soon as possible into our lives, is learn to pivot and not always follow a plan. So Kendra Scott says, be agile. I know a plan is great and we all love a plan. We gotta know the plan isn't something that is going to be exactly what we think it is. Prepare sometimes for the worst, but be ready to take advantage of those opportunities when you can. Take something that seems scary and make it way better than what you originally dreamed. So a year ago today, I was entering my senior year of college at FIT in New York. And when I was entering this last semester, I had this mindset of a year from now, I'm going to already be in my dream job. I'm going to be a few months into it and I'm going to have this dream life that I want to already start coming into fruition. Spoiler alert, I got the dream job that I thought was my dream, did it for a few months and realized really quickly, this is not what I want to do. This is not the lifestyle that I want. And I genuinely do not see myself going into an office for 40 years, then retiring and doing the whole spiel. Like that is not what I wanted. After I left this job, which I did not think that I was going to, I learned to pivot and I have done this my whole life, whether it was from jobs to interviews, going from being a social media manager to then doing content creation to then restarting my business. I have always just learned to pivot and do what life has thrown at me but again it's because i tried to be prepared in the best way possible and mark cuban says everybody has potential you want to be someone that knows something the key to being successful and achieving your dreams no matter what they are is finding something you like to do and being great at it when you're great at something you can write your own ticket if you just have the potential then you are working for the expert and i love the phrase write your own ticket because when nothing else in life is guaranteed you have the pen to your own story you are writing your own book every day do you want to be the story that ends flat and then you close the book and you're like wow i wish this was better or do you want to be the book that ends on a high note do you want the book where every chapter has you on the edge of your seat and you close it with the feeling of wow that was great think about that because it is something that i think when i'm living my own life every day i'm writing my own book i'm writing my own story i have the pen and emma grade always says no one is watching you like you're watching you only you see your mistakes in private everyone is so bothered about their own stuff in their own head that they're not thinking about you so it's okay to release a little bit and separate what is ego and what is real and this reminds me a lot about social media as well because a lot of people compare themselves to those that are online they think that they need to be making this huge amount Amount of money by this age they need to be driving this car have the dream home have the high-rise luxury waterfront apartment when in reality everybody is going through their own journey everybody has things that they're going through in private let them do them and you do you by being flexible to what life brings you you are going to be prepared for all these new ventures of growth you have to encounter these unexpected roadblocks and you have to be in your I don't know how but i will era you need to seize these opportunities as they come even if they are not as you anticipated tip number four is learn to fail and learn from those mistakes 
failure is something that is inevitable and it's a beautiful thing and I actually want to do a whole video on this because I think that we can learn so much from it but there is a difference between the people that fail and the people that learn from it there is something so valuable about taking those experiences and taking those things that you have encountered and taking a lesson from it Michael Rubin says for me I think failing is great because if you fail fast and you learn how to fail you can use that to build your next success Kevin O'Leary says there isn't one entrepreneur I've met that's been successful that can't list a bunch of disasters that they were involved in. When you learn to embrace failure, you learn from those mistakes, but then you keep going. There's this other quote I saw on social media before, which is that rise like a phoenix from the ashes, which means you emerge from a catastrophe with renewed strength, intelligence, and power. And I love this because you obviously don't have to be going through some sort of major catastrophe or through something really big and disastrous in order to learn from it. But it's all about how you bounce back from whatever it is that you're going through. And I have a whole video on how to bounce back and how to really come back into yourself after something has happened in case you want more deeper tips on that failing is something that even i have learned so much ever since from a very young age i've always known what i'm good at what i'm not good at and so i take that and i learn from it whether it's in school whether it's in my career whether it's in business i thought that i was a failure when i left my corporate job after three months i genuinely thought i am someone that i'm not who i say that I am. I think that I'm a hard worker and that I'm ambitious and I'm not. I left my job after three months and I was kind of bullying myself in my head and I realized that this is not what I should be doing. I should not be pushing myself back down. Instead, I looked at all the things that I learned in those three months. I looked at all the things that I gathered and the people that I met, the experiences I went through, the things that I was able to do, the hands-on experiences that I would not have gotten working anywhere else. And once I rerouted my mindset and I was like, okay, wait, I actually learned a lot and this was an amazing experience, I was even more grateful for it. And I didn't look at myself as a failure anymore. I looked at myself as, wow, you did that you were able to network you were able to find this job and you can do the same thing with whatever it is that you were going through in your life look at what you thought was one of the worst periods of your life and think about how you bounced back from that think about the lessons you learned and how it made you into who you are today Tip number five, which is another very, very important tip, is you need to have big dreams and big goals. Barbara Corcoran says, there's nothing more successful than building your own world after not having fit in someone else's. And if you guys haven't looked up the story of Barbara Corcoran, I highly recommend it because she also comes from a small town in New Jersey, just like me. And she describes in so many interviews and podcasts how she went from being a waitress, being a server at a restaurant, to starting a business with her then boyfriend, doing real estate in New York. He cheated on her with someone that worked at her company. She took people, left, and started her own bigger and even better real estate company and ended up selling it for $66 million. But it's literally because she went through something, she overcame it. She was like, how can I do something bigger and better? And of course, it's obviously so heartbreaking to go through something like that, but she bounced back and look who had the better end of the stick she is someone that i really really look up to when she said this it really reminded me that by setting ambitious goals and actually going towards it you can be shocked at how much of your full potential can actually come with that and with big dreams you are forced to think beyond what is possible like i said i come from a small town in new jersey where everybody knows everybody's business where i went to middle school and high school everybody was either talking about you behind your back or there was some sort of drama or gossip i hated that growing up because i was always like afraid to be the person that stayed in my town after i finished school after i finished college when i realized that if i just let that noise tune out and i just focus on me and myself i can get somewhere which is why as soon as i graduated high school i started doing content creation i started doing internships i applied for my dream college because i was like i want to do something bigger and better i'm not going to let these people and this noise get to me and i've had so many past friends and experiences where you know when i share these big dreams and goals with them they immediately they cast this doubt upon you and they make you feel like you can't do it they have this secret animosity towards you because you are doing something that they are not and steve jobs always says too the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do reese witherspoon said i will put in the hours and bet on myself i am my own lottery ticket if no one shows up i will and i will do the work i love reese witherspoon she's another icon and someone that i look up to but she really stood out to me because it's true like big visionaries and groundbreakers in the world when they have these massive dreams they don't take no for an answer even when they were faced it they continue to 
fuel their creativity and they stretched those limits they stayed inspired they took action and they focus on long term and steve harvey says there's nowhere to go except up you have to believe in something you can't see and this is something i really want to stress to you guys as well which is that this is the thing with people like me this is the thing with people like you this is the thing in general with why you clicked this video why you stumbled upon this maybe you've never seen me before on your youtube but it resonated with you in a way in this video you want success you want something different for yourself you want to be above average and you know that you can do it because there really is nowhere to go except up from here we all believe in something that we see so strong in our head no one is telling us that we have to be the ones to be the first in our family to do something exceptional no one is telling us that we have to have financial financial freedom that we have to be successful we have to make our dreams happen we have this life and this dream in our head that no one sees except us so we have to keep going we have to go towards it and we just have to remind ourselves in the end this is what we want to do just let that outside noise fade out and keep doing you the last tip for today's video is that it's about the person you become, not the destination. A lot of people that want short-term success, they want the flashy items, they just want to focus on the end goal. And I used to be the same way. I feel like we all have kind of been through these different phases where we see social media, we see the expensive bags, the shopping, the nice cars, the social media influencers, everyone living their best life. And that tells us that we also need to be at that certain age and doing those things when in reality, why do you think so many people say more money more problems why do you think we see so many successful people that have it all and they are still not happy sometimes it's really because we focus so much on the physical aspects and the physical happiness of things that we don't focus on the more important aspect which is who we are becoming when i was so focused on wanting the designer bags and the luxury life and all these really flashy things i never saw the big things that actually come with that which is who is the different person that you are becoming who is is the better version of yourself that you are trying to be and brian tracy says you have to become a totally different person to achieve something you've never achieved before you have to become someone you've never been you have to develop certain qualities inside to become a better person and i love this because once i finally figured this out once it finally clicked for me i realized like you have to develop new habits you have to develop new routines and get out of that comfort zone because like i said in the beginning of this video by focusing on the personal development rather than the outcome of what it is that you want and getting out of your comfort zone you are going to gain so much more you're going to be even more grateful when the things that you want actually come into fruition and something else that i also remind myself which i heard online is that quote we can have everything we want just not all at once and this is so true we can have the nice cars we can have the big bank account the family all the things it is that we want but everything comes in different seasons everything comes in different points in our lives you just have to be willing to keep going even during the toughest times because the real payoff is that you become a different person and then you associate with the kind of people that are with that lifestyle that is when your life the one it is that you truly want to achieve truly begins to end off today's video i want to give you guys a little plan and next steps on how you can start implementing these tips into your own life so like i said before i've watched so many videos i've read so many articles listened to tons of podcast episodes on successful people but there is one youtube video in particular by brian tracy that really really stood out to me i'm going to link it below for you guys but this really inspired me because it's all about reaching your full potential making your dreams come true and really getting things done so how can you begin you have to just start now. You have to work towards your dreams and develop this plan A. So Brian Tracy said, write down 10 things you want to accomplish in the next 12 months. Circle one goal that would change your life if you had it in the next 24 hours. Then write down 20 things to get to this goal and start working on it piece by piece every single day. And before you know it, you will have your goals and you will be a completely different person by then. And I've been doing this since July. I watched this video in June. I set the plan in July and my entire life has changed in truly the best way possible that is all for today's video so i just want to tell you guys i love you all so much you guys are so amazing and i appreciate all of your comments i love 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 my youtube community on here like i always tell you guys and i really really hope that this video resonates with you guys and that it can help in any way whether you are looking to be a different person mentally emotionally physically whether you want to start a business whatever it is that you want you can achieve your goals you can make it happen you just have to be willing to be consistent and put the steps in every day so i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye